Hello developers and welcome to PHP Developers TV, your home for everything you need to know to be a knowledgeable PHP developer. I'm your host, Scott Keck Warren. PHP 8 is almost here. It will be released on November 26, 2020, just in time for us Americans to upgrade our servers after Thanksgiving dinner. As it's a major release, there are some breaking changes, but also lots of new features and performance improvements. In this video, we'll go over some of the features that we're most looking forward to. We generally don't upgrade to a major version until there's been at least one patch cycle, so wait for PHP 8.0.1 before installing it on your production servers. However, it's still a great time to try out the new features in our development environment. The most interesting improvement in the PHP 8 release is the inclusion of a just-in-time compiler. Discussing what a just-in-time compiler does and how it works could be a video on its own, and most likely will, but the oversimplified version of it is this. Before PHP 8, when PHP would process a file, PHP would convert the text in the file into a form called bytecode. This bytecode is then passed to the PHP runtime engine, which performs the commands in the file. With the just-in-time compiler enabled, the bytecode will get converted to machine code that the underlying processor can use directly. It's unclear if this will have any actual real-life performance for normal crowded web applications, but for some long-running processes, we should see performance improvements. We're excited about this because we want our applications running as quickly as possible to give our users the best possible experience. It's common for us to use functions with a lot of arguments. The setCookie function is an excellent example. Now, if we wanted to set a secure cookie, we would have to pass all of the optional arguments so we can then pass true for the secure parameter. This makes the function call hard to read because it has that extra zero and the empty quotes in it. Or we might have a function that only has three arguments, but determining which each of them is doing is hard to understand. PHP 8 allows us to use named arguments to define what each variable we're passing will be used for. Named arguments are by far the feature that we're most looking forward to in PHP 8 because it makes our code a lot easier to read at the expense of more typing. This won't always be needed, but it can be helpful in a lot of situations where extra clarity is necessary. We're a big fan of always defining the types for arguments and return values because it helps us catch mistakes in our code faster because a runtime exception will be raised if there's a mismatch. The downside to this is that we may run into a situation where we need to pass multiple types or return multiple types. Before PHP 8, we would have to create two versions of the function with different names and different parameters. With the newly added union types, we can allow for multiple types to be passed and returned. In PHP, it's common for us to have a function that might return a class or it might return a null, but calling a member function on a null value will cause a runtime error, so we have to jump through a hoop like this. In PHP 8, we can use the newly added null safe operator to make this much shorter. The null safe operator is a question mark, a dash, and then a greater than sign. We can also chain these calls together, so we can do something like the following. PHP currently supports the switch statement, which allows us to write more complicated if-else blocks using the following syntax. PHP 8 adds the match expression, which allows us to write this more concisely. This one is a real mouthful, but it's going to be super helpful when creating new classes. Before PHP 8, we had to specify class properties that the constructor would receive as parameters, and then set them based on what's passed to the constructor. With constructor property promotion, we can define the properties using the constructor's parameters and set them all in one line. It produces a lot less code for the same functionality, so it's a win-win in our department. Now we just need PHP to automatically manage the default getters and setters, and we'll be in better shape. When we write functions with lots of arguments, we tend to write one per line, so it doesn't exceed the line length requirements imposed by PSR 12. Before PHP 8, the last parameter couldn't have a trailing comma or would throw an error message, but in PHP 8, it can. On the surface, this may seem like a silly change, but it causes additional lines to be changed in our source control systems if we need to add another parameter, and it causes the trailing comma to be consistent on every line. This change passed almost unanimously, so the core team must see its value for us anal retentive. It's standard practice to use the string pose position 
to determine if a string contains another string. PHP 8 adds a string contains function, which does the same thing, but only returns true or false, so we don't need to add the additional exclamation point equals equals false every time. These two functions have been added to allow users to more quickly determine if a string starts with or ends with another string. PHP 8 is out soon, so we can start to take advantage of these new features in our environment. It's great to see new features, but it's even better when they make our code easier to understand and maintain. Thank you for watching our video. If you want to be alerted when we post new content, make sure you click the subscribe button and the bell button below so you don't miss anything. If you have questions related to the PHP ecosystem you would like us to answer in future videos, please ask them in the comments below.